you started out. And secondly, could you talk a little bit about the future of the program and just how bright it is? Well, I think Eli Apple, Zeke, I think we had high expectation for Zeke because we saw what he could do last year. But that so group of sophomores that we have that really stepped up and played, they complimented the seniors. Whenever you have a coaching transition, there's usually a little bit of a blip or a, a miss in the recruiting. And uh, if our sophomore class can step up, we wouldn't be where we are. They, they, I mean, it's incredible. Uh, a lot of them are redshirt freshmen. And, uh, yeah, I did the question. I certainly did not see that happen. And after spring practice and early in the season. But I undervalued or didn't, didn't, didn't quite understand the improvement that these guys can make. We're going to go right down here in front. Urban, Steve Futterman from CBS News. I wanted to ask you, you've been through this before, right here. You've won the national championship before. At the same time, Ohio State means so much to you. What does it mean for you to bring Ohio State back to the pinnacle of... <laughs> Uh, Cardell's making his entrance here. Uh, I'm not shy about uh, the love I have for this great state. Uh, Ashtabula, Ohio is my hometown. I, I, you know, I've got to travel all around the country, and I realized how fortunate I am to grow up in a great town like that in a great state. I played high school and college football here, and and to bring able to bring a national title to the great state of Ohio, uh, it's it's almost surreal. And could I ask you one follow up? And I know. Ohio State wins again as an underdog, as they have done every time when the Buckeyes have not been favored by our comrades in arid regions. You know, a lot of times when they hit right on the point, <coughs> they go, how do they know? Well, it's about time that they recognize that Ohio State doesn't really need to be an underdog, I don't think. They are now 6-0 since 2012, including their last three games. Big Ten Championship game against Wisconsin, underdog, 159-0. Beat Alabama as a touchdown underdog. Beat Oregon as a touchdown underdog. And Urban Meyer continues to prove that he is top dog. A perfect 6-0. The latest victory. I love it. At the expense of Heisman Trophy winner.